Hello everybody and welcome back to another video in the series of my live gig setup. Today I'm going to share with you my setup for an average session gig, band gigs, theater, etc. And although the same setup can work for me when I'm playing bass or even drums, today's setup is going to revolve around my guitar playing. So before we start, here's a little snippet from a theater gig I did not too long ago. Hello. I'm going to put a link to the whole video right here. All right, here's a quick breakdown of the gear I'm using for sessions. The centerpiece of everything is the Line 6 Helix. I also added a Mission Engineering Expression pedal for a secondary function. For guitar wireless, I'm using the Sennheiser G4 EW500 guitar pack. For in ear monitoring, I'm using the Sennheiser G4. EW300. Also hitting inside the rack is a Sure BLX system, where I can use it either as a backup to the Sennheiser guitar wireless, or I can opt for the handheld SM58 wireless. And the final piece of gear that sits on stage is a QSC K10 powered speaker. The way everything is wired together is very simple, but also very unique to my specific needs. As usual, I use on the Helix one preset, one amp sound, one cabinet, everything else is tom boxes that I put on and off as I need them. However, on the output of the Helix, the signal gets split left and right, where left goes to the QSC K10, and from there lines out to the house directly, where the sound engineer can do whatever he wants with that sound. I use some mild EQ to get the sound I want coming out of the K10, so it sounds the way I want it to sound out of the K10. Further, when it goes to the house, the sound engineer can tweak the sound as he sees fit. Now I can control the volume up or down as I need it if my in-ears fail, or as the rest of the band needs my amp sound to be louder or softer to accommodate everyone else on stage. The right output on the Helix goes to the left input of my in-ear pack. And as usually I position the K10 to the left of me, I get my guitar sound only on the left ear. I EQ the sound going into my left ear a little bit differently because it's a different kind of speaker and often enough the sound in the in-ears will be a little bit more harsh. So that gets treated a little bit differently so I can enjoy my sound without hurting my ears. The right input on my in-ear pack gets a feed from the house mixer. This is where I hear everything else in the band, the drums, the bass, the keyboards, the singers, everything else I need to hear in order to play properly with the band. Now often enough, the sound coming from the mixer is usually controlled by some kind of app on my phone so I can tweak whatever I want to hear to perfection. Some mixers allow that, some mixers do not. In case there's no app, I just ask the sound engineer to put in my right ear whatever it is I want to hear. Now, of course, I can put both mixers in the center and hear the band in the center and the guitar in the center, but personally, I enjoy and I like that kind of separation. Furthermore, this is where the mission engineering expression pedal comes into play. It's set to only control the volume of the guitar going into my left ear, and I can then control the final volume that does not affect the house just in my left ear. So if the band is playing very loud, I don't want to drown in the, in the mix, I can bring up the volume a little bit. If the band is playing something soft and I'm feeling it, I'm a little bit too loud, I can bring that sound down to be a little bit softer so I can play with the appropriate touch and feel and energy. If the volume of your own instrument is too loud, often enough, people will play with very little confidence. And if it's too soft, you will not know exactly what you're doing. And you will try to play too loud, or you will be too confused with what is going on in your ears. This setup really solves that problem for me. And I can enjoy my performance 
and everybody else's to its full capacity. Now let me talk to you about my preset on the Helix. I'm using a Soldano head, the clean channel, and the impulse response for a cab that I found a long time ago, and that's been the only cab I use. Since I started experimenting with impulses, it's been the only one I've been using. Obviously a reverb that stays on the whole time, three types of delay, one of them will be like the Pink Floyd U2 type of delay that only gets used when I need that kind of rhythmic type of delay. And then two quite subtle delays. One of them set to quarter notes, and the second is set to triplet quarter notes. I have a booster that pushes the amp and gives me this very slightly broken up sound. And then I overdrive. And together, it gives me enough gain. Of course, a volume boost for the solos. And then a polycapper right in the beginning of the chain. And that is it. That is the whole setup. It is very simple, but it works for me very, very well and helps me to do my job a lot easier. Please subscribe, hit that bell button, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.